Okay, here we go. It's going to be good. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> that is so authentically bolty, though. I'm all the compliments. Hi guys, today I am joined by the British High Commissioner, Miss Harriet Cross, and we are going to be making a traditional Balti bowl, but we're putting a little Trini spin on it. So Harriet, yes. thank you so much for coming. I'm very excited to make this dish, but tell me, what does this dish exactly mean to you? What is the tradition here? Okay, so we're gonna make a Birmingham Balti. Mm -hmm. um, Birmingham's in the center of the UK, Mm -hmm. uh, kind of um, maybe like a couple of hours from London and there's a big community of people from India, Pakistan, uh, Middle East. It's a real multi-ethnic kind of city. Uh, okay, sounds good. So I hope you don't mind, but I put my little Trini spin okay, on no, it. I'm looking, really <laughs> looking forward right. to seeing the Trini spin. <laughs> okay, so we're getting very traditional here. We're going to use our chulha mm -hmm. and we're keeping it very simple and very vegan as well. Okay, good. Okay. Yes, that's nice. Thank you. So we're going to start with a bit of oil, vegetable oil here. Okay, and we're going to saute some onions. Yeah. And just so you know, this apparatus cooks fast. Okay. Yes, and my understanding of the dish also is that it's usually done on very high heat. Yeah, so yeah. So that's why we're outside today. Yeah, yeah. So if you go <laughs> into a restaurant in Birmingham, like your curry house, we would just call it a curry yeah. house, or a balti house, you would you would see, normally you'd, the kitchens would be open, mm -hmm. so you'd see like the fierce heat coming out and the flames sometimes as well. Yes, and I also read that it's in a very special bowl, and yeah. it's served in the bowl that it's cooked in, which is a very thin pressed steel bowl. Yeah. Am I right? Okay, yeah, 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 you know, you know right. it all. Um, and then I guess then they would eat it with bread. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes, maybe sometimes you'd have rice, but you'd kind of use the bread to dip in, which I guess is a sort of thing. Would you ever do that here with a dish in Trinidad? Of course, we have sada roti and we have yes. all the different of sides course. that we use that with. And roti, of yes. course, is, is eaten like that with hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to saute these onions and tomatoes here until the onions get a little clear. So this takes okay. about two to three minutes. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Those tomatoes are amazing, like bright red, <laughs> yes. really fresh, really nice. Um, so uh, one, one of the reasons we've chosen a Birmingham Balti is that um, the Commonwealth Games are going to be held in Birmingham uh -huh. uh, later on this year. Um, and so we kind of wanted to, to let people in Trinidad and Tobago know that some of, you know, there'll be athletes from all around the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. um, 52 nations, competing in Birmingham. So they will be eating Balti. So I'm hoping there will be some <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago athletes and hopefully when we're Balti. done with this we have people in Trinidad making Balti all the time yes, all I right so. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it so this has cooked down and it's nice and clear and you can see all the juices coming out yeah so now we're going to add our other ingredients so we have garlic and ginger yeah very important. I love <laughs> my garlic and ginger. Yeah, I kind of think any dish that's got garlic and ginger in, that's your yes. base is, is there. You can. And you every go. time you add an ingredient, we stir everything, make sure everything is together. Yeah. <laughs> we have some chili powder. Yeah. Now, how hot is this balti going to be? Not very hot. Okay. <laughs> But because we are using our local scotch bonnet, you can leave in some of the seeds and that gives it more spice, yeah. but you can also take the seeds out. So that yeah. is, or you can leave it out if you don't want any heat at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. No, you need, you need to have some heat in your curry. I really do think. Yes. Agree. Yeah. <laughs> so I we're adding so. some paprika, okay. some turmeric powder. Yeah. Excellent. That'll give a nice color to it. Well, <laughs> it? And of course the masala. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so that's our like that's the kind of traditional. I guess this is like the traditional Indian part um, of mm -hmm. the dish. Yeah. And then we've got what's the is it Shadden Benny that's going to be like the real that's the real yes. Trini ingredient. Yes, in there. it is. <laughs> now, obviously, you would never get in Birmingham. No. Um, Actually, anytime I cook anywhere else, I yeah. always have to find a substitute for Shadden Benny. Right. Okay. Yeah. So would that so. be like coriander? Yes. Yeah. I guess there's all sorts of, like different green yeah. green herbs. Um, so we're getting yeah. into a really nice piece. I'm going to put a little salt for taste okay. here. All right. So we're going to have, um, talking about the, the Commonwealth Games, there's going to be a baton relay. You, mm -hmm. know, like, you know, like when you would pass the baton in a race. Mm -hmm. same, same with the Olympics. There's going to be a baton that goes around every Commonwealth country between now and when the Commonwealth Games starts. And it's going to be in Trinidad and Tobago in April. Oh. 
So again, I think we need to incorporate some Balti into whatever <laughs> is happening with that battle. Of course, of yeah. course. And anybody at home that's watching or going out to visit any of these games, they can make this like traditionally when we do things like that, it's kind of like in the trunk of the car with like a pillow. Yes. yes. But this around that time, we're making the Balti, right? Yes. Okay. So now that we have everything in, I'm going to put a little water okay. to get it to steam and get into that sauce consistency. Yeah. So here, this has to simmer for about a half an hour. Okay. And I just put enough liquid just about to cover the ingredients. Okay. And then we basically blitz it very quickly in a blender. Okay. And then we have our balti sauce and then we move on to the, 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 the crux of the menu. Okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. Okay, great. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're on to the main part of the dish, which we're doing the cauliflower bowl tea. Okay. All right? Yeah. Now, you see the weather has suddenly changed. Yes. <laughs> and I guess you're accustomed to that kind of... I am, I am. Impromptu change in weather. Yes. Yes. So, I'm... we have that in common for sure. Tell me, what else would you say are similarities that we would have while I So, right, so... People in the UK, they love their food and they, they actually love a good party, you know, like the pub culture, mm -hmm. we eat and we drink. And there's actually quite a big Caribbean influence in the UK. So you know Notting Hill Carnival, but actually there are, there are West Indian carnivals, mm -hmm. Caribbean carnivals in Birmingham, West Midlands, like all through the summer. Mm -hmm. So if you get there, you can go and taste a little bit, just nothing like the Port <laughs> of Spain carnival, but a little bit of that kind of joy of the food and the drink and the dancing so okay. that's definitely something we share sounds good so so far what i've done here is i've done onions and tomatoes and a little vegetable oil okay so we're going to let this saute and Looks right good. now the chula is really hot so it's cooking even faster yeah and of course did you see our sauce it came out Looks really so good, good. So we pureed that in the blender. Yeah. Very quick, just about three pulses. And we yeah. got that really nice sauce. So this looks to me really authentically like a Balti curry sauce. <laughs> well, I'm, the, I'm the flattered. The colour is perfect. <laughs> I will take yeah. the compliment. Okay, so once we add this, we go in with our ginger and okay. garlic, of course. Yeah. I think one of the other things that I think is similar, you know during carnival, you've got like mukka jumbies and you've got all these kind of really big characters. Yeah. In the UK, we've got things like Morris dancing and people wear bells and mm -hmm. they like dance and they kind of look crazy. <laughs> and I think there's some similarities there, I have to say. Now, this is our, our heat. Yeah. So I've used uh, half of a scotch bonnet pepper and I've taken out the seeds because we don't want it too hot. Okay. okay. Yeah. And you get different color scotch bonnet, right? Yes. That's, that's Red, green, green yellow. yellow. One of my favorite things about Caribbean food or ingredients is all the various colors that you can add to your dish, yeah. not just by flavor, but all the colors yeah. that make food look so amazing. Yeah. Okay, that, so yeah. we're in with a little mus um, cumin powder and okay. saffron. Yeah. All of our spices. Is that fenugreek? What yes, that? it is. Yeah. With some of the seeds. I know my curry ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Thank you. Foodie Nation is going to need some, like, some odor, like <laughs> transmission to the audience because <laughs> this is so good. Well, really all nice. they have to do is try this recipe, and I found it to be really easy as well. Yeah. So just to give it a little gravy, I'm going to add a touch. Yeah. Of water. You see now gravy, yeah. that is a very British word as well. I, <laughs> we like our gravy. Yes. <laughs> All right, and so now we're going to add our cauliflower. Yeah. And I've cut this up in little bite-sized pieces so that when we cook it down, and of course when you do when I do a veg a vegetarian version of any meal, I like to make sure that my veggies have a little crunch. Yeah. Definitely. That it's not too mushy. So yeah. we have to time this perfectly. So yeah. when Everything is coated, when all the cauliflower is coated with all of our spices and veggies. We are going to let this cook down for a couple minutes until it's almost cooked and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So Harriet, we are near the end. Okay. Okay. So at this point, the cauliflower is almost oh, cooked. That looks so good. <laughs> yes. It's an amazing color. Yeah. 
And I'm guessing that's a turmeric that's got that nice colour. Yes, very rich and bright yes. and it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. All right, so we're going to add our special garam masala mix yeah. to this. And of course, our quality yeah. sauce. Yeah, <laughs> that is the secret ingredient. Yes. Now, you see, what I can see, what I would like to do, if you make that sauce and then you could freeze it, like in little portions, yes. and so that you would have it for your curry. Yeah, so you don't have to start from scratch yeah. every time. And I guess you can use it in different things. Once you know what it tastes like, you can yeah. make all your different meals with it. Yeah. That's so this good. is a really good consistency, nice and thick. And of course, we're stirring everything evenly. Yeah. And then we just let this go for a few more minutes, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Until it's, you know, say a desired texture. Now, the cauliflower is cooked here, but it's a little crunchy. If you want it a little softer, you can definitely take it a little longer. It's really, at this point, the texture is up to you. Okay. All right. And yeah. of course, our famous Trini yes. substitute. I'm just going to sprinkle a little shadow benny yeah. towards the end. Yeah. That way it stays fresh in flavor. Yeah. All right, so we're going to let this finish and we're going to do one of my favorite parts of the show, which is the tasting. Yes, And I'm looking forward to your Birmingham approval <laughs> of my Balti Bowl, okay? Fantastic. All right, yeah. great. So this is the moment of truth. Uh -huh, <laughs> so good. let me know how well we did with this yeah. Caribbean fusion of a Balti. So we have some naan. Yeah. So in Birmingham, I, if you went to a restaurant and you were having a balti with naan, they'd just get this massive piece of bread for the whole table mm -hmm. and you would all share it. I don't know whether you ever do that in, in Trinidad, but it's kind of like, it creates that like communal vibe as well. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. It's going to be good. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> that is so authentically balti though. I'm taking all the compliments. <laughs> there's like, but this is the thing that, that I know from the UK, there's like a silky, mm -hmm. a silky like feel to it. It's not like harsh. You know, sometimes when, when somebody makes a curry or the, and the spice is really high, it's like harsh, but this is so silky smooth. Thank you. So good. Well, I got the approval. So we're sticking to this recipe. <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed it. And Harriet, thank you so much for coming, sharing this experience. Um, it was a pleasure to cook. <laughs> Thank you for making it for me. I really appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. And I'm going to Anytime. do the recipe myself, for sure. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs>